things have been the story of my life these past couple of weeks, and I like it. It's actually been a lot of fun. It's a, it's a good run to have, like I've been saying, so I'm happy with it. We got six of those rolls on my trailer. Taking them down once again to, you guessed it, Wapton, North Dakota. How's it going? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Wish the sun was shining. It's still gonna be a good day. Let's go get some Timmy's. That is what defines if it'll be a good day or not. If you can get a good cup of coffee. It doesn't have to be Timmy's. It could be McDonald's. They have really good coffee too. Starbucks. I hesitate saying that, but it's true. I have been brought into the fold of Starbucks, but only coffee, okay? None of the frappadappuccino nonsense, okay? You go into Starbucks, you ask for a large, you don't speak their language, don't cave to them, okay? Because they got this weird, funny language. Do you mean venti? No, I mean large, big, the big one. Give me the big one. What would you like in it? Coffee. Just coffee. Can you put some cream in there? Two of them. Large coffee or extra large at Starbucks gets two cream. It's a little bit of a stronger coffee than Timmy's. No sugar. Do not, do not dare ruin my coffee with sugar. That'll ruin the whole day. Frappadappuccino. No, give me a coffee. You're a coffee shop. And then you try to read their menu, right? And you're like, you got... <laughs> when I first went to Starbucks, right? I went in there. I was like squinting at the menu. Do you guys sell coffee? <laughs> Just coffee. But jokes aside, it is pretty good coffee, I must say. You don't even need an espresso shot in that coffee. Whereas Tim's, you need an espresso shot to give it that extra... Mm. Starbucks has the mm built right in. Once you get the language barrier, like, once you get over the language barrier and you get your large coffee. Who else has good coffee? In the U.S., Dunkin' Donuts, I don't mind their coffee. It's on the East Coast there. Caribou Coffee, out in the northern Midwest here, good coffee. 200 meters, turn left on Main Street, Highway 13. But in Canada, Tim Hortons rules all. We feel in our patriotic duty, even though Tim Hortons is a Brazilian company owned by Brazilians. It was once a Canadian company and we must stay loyal. If you own a Tim Hortons in Canada, they, they, they call it owning the bank. It's like, it's like going, you're not going to work when you own a Timmy's, you're going to the bank. You make good money. But it also costs a lot of money to get into the franchise. I heard it's like a million dollars just to buy in. And then you have to, you know, get a location, land, building permits, all the materials. So it's pricey, but once that's paid off, whoo, you're laughing. All the way to the bank. The real bank. So we're just leaving Carmen, Manitoba here right now. Let's get out there. Continuing on this road for 16 kilometers. Aye, aye. Do you remember, Karen? I'm the captain. Carmen farming. Farming and Carmen. Thought that was fitting. A lot of farmers around here. We are in uh, southern Manitoba, that's in central Canada, but if you ask any Canadians, especially those of us who live out in this region, we are western Canada. Today we went to Timmy's in Winkler, at the corner of uh, Main Street and uh, the 14 here. There's a Tim's there. Easier to get into, easier to get close to with a truck than in Carmen. Carmen, you can park on the road, but then I'm facing the wrong direction and it's a little bit tight to turn around and go back the other way. Whereas here, 
they actually have some parking on the side of the street. So it's just a little easier for me to get in there with a truck. Tim Hortons, as much as we love them, never think of the truckers when they build a location. Never. And it's kind of funny because, you know, truckers are one of their biggest customers. Everybody knows the, truck, the truckers love coffee, generally. You'd think that, you know, you would make a little bit of an exception, make some truck park. No, never. In meters, not even at some of them. Right on First Street, Highway 32. I guess that's not true. Some are built in a location that just happens to have an area where we can park. It's not like they planned it out, usually. Usually, I'm talking. It feels like this ride just gets shorter and shorter every day. We're already almost there. I thought we just got started. That was a little time to unload. I got uh, four kilometers to go. Three miles. Less than three miles. That was crazy. I guess that's good, right? The days are going by fast. The faster the days go by, the faster payday arrives. That was my rhyme. Did you like it? Made it up just now. I could be a rapper. No, I shouldn't be. No. Oh, that's that'd be a terrible idea. The faster the days go by, the faster payday arrives. I'll just one-liner Josh right here. That's all I got. I got nothing else. In three kilometers, turn left on 177th Avenue. Thanks, Karen. I didn't ask. It's always talking out of turn. You'll speak when spoken to. She never listens to that. She's her own independent woman. She'll talk when she wants to talk. <laughs> I'm turning left up ahead here, driver. The guy behind me that's... I guess he doesn't have his CB on. As I was pulling out, he tried to go around me. I was gonna prevent, I was gonna make him so I didn't have to uh, change lanes. It's coming up pretty fast here, that's why. He might be mad at me now. In one kilometer, turn left on, 177th Avenue and then, approaching destination on the right side in 60 meters. There we go, turning left right here. I know in Europe, it's illegal to pass on the right-hand side. It's not illegal here in North America. It's frowned upon, but since I'm turning left up ahead here, I should be in the left lane. In that case, uh, it's perfectly fine to go by on the right. Turn left on, 177th Avenue and then, approaching destination on the right side. I get those comments quite often in my comments section. Oh, he passed on the right-hand side. That's illegal. Not here, no. But like I said, it's frowned upon. You shouldn't be passing trucks on the right-hand side for no reason. But if, he, if he's turning left, I mean, what am I gonna do? Turn left from the right lane? I think that's frowned upon even more. Hey, right. Hey, right. I should put on my Scottish hat. I have it in the truck here. I don't know why I haven't worn it yet. Swore for that one picture. What do I do? I go around the back? Do I go around here? No, I'm gonna back in right there. Yep. I got your stuff. I don't know if I'm doing another one tomorrow. I think so. Just like yesterday, I haven't gotten my uh, my reload yet, but uh, I'm assuming it'll probably be in my computer here shortly. Make it so no one can hear it. <laughs> I can't wait to get train horns. I want train horns. They're in my shop. Just haven't had the time to put them on the truck yet. It's 
for the kids, of course. It's for the kids. If you're a kid and you give me the arm pump, I will blow your mind. You're going to love it. Almost in position here. Almost. I know, you can't really see everything. I'm only one man. I can't have... I don't have a camera crew. I don't have cameras all over the place. No, I can only do one thing at a time. Alright. That's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Wunderbar. Okay, I'm going to let everybody... Shh. She likes to sing to me. I had fun too, it was a good ride. Don't worry, we're going back. We're gonna do some more trucking. On duty, excuse me, on duty, unloading cargo. And then I'm gonna go into my messages and I'm gonna compose a message. I always feel so official, I will compose a message. I'll pick one of these ones that's already like a template. Arrived at destination. Send. Are you sure you want to send? Yeah, that's why I asked you to send it. There we go. So now that got sent into the load gods. And uh, now they know that I've arrived at my destination. And once I'm done here, I'll send them another message that says empty at destination. So now they know to get the ball rolling on my reload. I'm pretty sure I'm just going back to Carmen, like I said. But uh, that means that, hey, I'm ready for my load info. Could you send it through, please, so that I know what I'm doing? Thank you very much. Communication is key to any relationship, especially between a driver and the load gods. You must have good communication. Otherwise things get confused. Freight gets delivered to the wrong place. You don't want that. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. I need my, first of all, I need to do up my belt. There you go. Oh, it's always comfier when I'm driving on. You get it. One second here. One second. Yes. All right. Got to put this on so people can see me. Otherwise, they can't see me. I'm like a ghost. Where'd he go? He's not wearing his vest. What happened here? Is this all twisted up? What in tarnation? Are you kidding me? There you go. See? I'm a problem solver. Yes! Oh, it's getting a little snug already, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Is everything... Oh, I just wanted to plug in my uh, headset while we're here. This is the one. I want to make sure that, that stays charged. Okay, you stay there, you charge. I'm going to put on my working hat. <sighs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to change your battery first. Oh, shoot. That's that. Another load delivered. Like I said earlier, as far as I know, we're going back for another one. We'll find out soon. That was a good, good run. Actually went really quick today. Almost missed my turn because I didn't realize I was this far already. All right, buddy, here I come. Oh, yes. Yes.
get in here. I brought my walking shoes along this time. Be a little easier on my feet. I'm gonna do the same walk I did last time in Fargo. From the Flying J straight west down 32nd Avenue South. I'm just gonna check the weather first real quick here. Make sure it's not gonna rain. Looks like it might. Uh, nope. Looks like the rain passed already. Okay, good. back already everything today is just going so quick 5.4 kilometers 5.45 kilometers just under five and a half we went over and it felt like we just started those shoes the shoes make a big difference i had a couple of you leaving comments telling me shoes shoes will help better shoes my wife was on the same page as you and believe wow you guys are all right my feet feel great like fantastic That's so awesome oh i just touched the lens oh man so i'm gonna go inside have a shower now and then we'll head up to carmen oh i feel good i, I could have kept going honestly i was thinking about it i was thinking about just turning around and going, doing it again but i only have a certain amount of time tonight and uh we got to get back to carmen got another load tomorrow Alrighty guys, let's get out of here before we run out of hours. Got about two and a half hours to the Canadian border. We have three and a half hours left on our US hours of service. Probably about five and a half left on our Canadian hours of service once we cross the border. Ow! Gotta watch out for your alignment here in the parking lot. Those potholes, they'll eat you whole. I mean, you gotta hold on to your children. Those potholes, they'll swallow a whole baby. People always give me the funniest looks. It's like they've never seen a guy with a camera on his head before. <laughs> I'm so used to it already, sometimes I wonder why they're staring at me. Let us go to Canada. 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 It's gonna be a good time. So I've got my next load sent to me already. Here's another Wapton. Did you guess right? I thought maybe I'd get a Buxton, but, cause we have some going to Wapton, some going to Buxton. 200 meters, turn left on, 32nd Avenue South. And I had two Buxtons last week, three Waptons. So far this week, it seems just a few drivers are uh, hogging all the Buxtons. But I'm pretty sure that that'll be all right. Because if I'm doing Wapton at the beginning of the week, I bet you I'm going to be doing Buxton at the end of the week, which will be a great Friday. Buxton is uh, it's a two hour shorter round trip. So if I get a Buxton on a Friday, it means I get home at a really good time for the weekend. Unlike last weekend, I had a Wapton on a Friday, which means I only got home at like 10.30 at night. Not that I'm complaining, but we'll see. Maybe this week will work out. He's sort of got to disperse them evenly amongst the drivers, right? 
At least I hope they're being dispersed evenly. <laughs> I want some of those nice ones too. It'd be a hard job being a dispatcher, or as I call them, load gods. You know, not only do you got to keep your customers happy, you've also got to keep your drivers happy. And you got to stare at a screen and sit in a chair with no scenery all day. <laughs> but we're very thankful for them. I get along very well with mine. They are great. Continue on this road for 249 kilometers. They've always treated me very well. And they're good, they're good like friends to talk to, you know? I've heard some horror stories on the internet about dispatchers, believe me, I've heard them all. For me, I've never experienced any bad dispatchers. For 11 years now, 11 years straight, I've always had great people working in the office. Probably why I've been here so long. Why would I leave, right? The only reason I left for three months was because the whole pandemic threw everything upside down and I needed to be home for a while and there's some miscommunications and didn't know what was going on, but eventually we got it figured out and found a position that, that worked for me for a year or two until everything calmed down and then I bought Old Blue and here we are. But I've never, I don't have anything bad to say about anyone in the office. They, uh, they're great people. It would be hard working every day with people you don't like. I'm glad I've never had to experience that. One hour, one minute left of my US hours of service. We're passing by Pembina, North Dakota right here. One mile south of the Canadian border, headed north. I figure we should have enough time. Hour and, hour and one minute, yeah. Just get us there. Fun fact for you, Pembina here, this town is the oldest settlement in North Dakota. It's actually an older settlement than Steinbach, where I'm from, by almost a hundred years. again in all blue the end of the day but I got my walk in today and it felt so good 5.4 kilometers that's probably 3.2 miles more than my goal and I didn't even realize I went over by that far that's how good I felt so my feet are completely healed up but most of all the shoes the shoes made such a difference. And these are pretty old. Like the bottom of the shoes are kind of worn out already. I've had these shoes, oh, I can't even remember. But they got proper support. I remember when I bought them, uh, they actually tested my foot and where I place a lot of my weight. And they found out that my, my feet, I put too much weight on the inside of my feet. My feet like will go like this a little bit. So they put extra support on the inside so that my foot would be level and be properly supported. So if I ever go and get new walking shoes or gym shoes again, I'm gonna, I forget where I got those. They're great. Made all the difference in the world. You guys were 100% right in the comments section. I said, oh, I'm just gonna use whatever shoes I have. I'll just wear my steel toes. It doesn't matter. It matters. Okay, you got me. You got me, it matters. Details. So I'm still walking in my jeans because I'm a truck driver and I wear jeans. I don't think that matters, does it? Does it really matter what pants I wear on my walk? I mean, if it really does, I'll take you seriously and I'll consider it because you were right last time. But as long as I got proper shoes, right? I'm tired. Thanks for watching today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to know more about me, down below in the description of every one of my videos is everything 
you need to know about me in all the places you can find me on the internet and also our PO box, our PO box address is down below in the description. Uh, a lot of people have been emailing me recently, especially since we announced the, uh, the pregnancy. Excuse me. Oh, oh, I just made you yawn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It caught me off guard too. Since uh, we announced the pregnancy, uh, that there's a baby on the way, a lot of messages have been coming into my email at truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of me, asking what our PO address is or what our PO box is. Uh, maybe they want to send something for the baby or, I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. The next couple of weeks there'll be a few things coming in the mail. And I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they are. But uh, we have a PO box address down below there. I also have a US PO address uh, and I'll include that down below in the description as well. If you're in the US, sometimes it's cheaper for shipping if you ship it to uh, my US address. Just make sure you email me then to let me know that you did that so that I go and check that PO box uh, promptly. Just uh, so that I can pick that up uh, whenever I get down past there. You know what? I had a better idea about the US postal address. If you want to know the US postal address, uh, email me and I will give that address to you. That way, if we do that little step, I know that something's gonna be there. Cause if I don't think anything is gonna be there, I drive right past and I don't stop and check it. I only check it when I know something is gonna be waiting there for me. I don't wanna waste my time uh, when nothing's there, right? So down below in the description is our PO box address in Canada. That is my preferred box address that I would prefer that you use. But if you wanna save a little bit on shipping, I don't know what, what you guys are sending uh get a hold of me truckerjoshvlogs at gmail.com that's also listed down below in the description uh ask me what our u.s postal address is i'll give it to you and then i'll know to expect something how's that sound because i don't want to list it down there and then have stuff go there and i'm not and i'm not aware of it so i, I prefer to use the canadian box address because that comes right to our town and i can pick that up anytime that's much more convenient and much more sure you can be much more sure that I'll get it then but that's just for those of you who have been asking if you weren't asking hey uh, my Facebook Twitter Instagram snapchat TikTok, all of that is down below in the description of all my videos every single video anything I want you to know about me which is practically everything except the color of my underwear is down below in the description of every single one of my videos so go check it out if you haven't already and while you're down there hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video